Hi, Phil from Got Memories here. So, this particular video, um, I'm transferring VHS C tapes, VHS compact tapes from 1990 to the late 90s. Now, this is where I talk again and again in my videos about the importance of having a monitor for each single player. And as I move along here, you're going to see why. And this is why all these companies out there are digitizing shit. Pardon the language, but utter dog shit is being transferred. And I wonder what you can see right here. Look at this. Okay. So this is why you need eyes on monitors as you're scanning around the room. You've got things playing and you get to see things going out of whack. Now, here's a prime example as well. Now, you're probably looking at this one going, well, this looks perfectly fine. Audio's good. No, a professional has standards, okay? And this, to me, is unacceptable. You know why? Because, look at that. You can see that line in the middle there. And that could be the tape or it could be the tracking situation. So just a small little adjustment of the tracking here has fixed the problem. Now that wouldn't be fixed if you didn't have a monitor for every single player. This as well would be transferring away. Now, just to let you know, all of these companies, Legacy Box, South Tree, Kodak Digitizing, this is what they're producing. I see it again and again, and if you are watching and you own that company, you work for that company, contact me, and I can tell you what your problems are, okay? I'm sick of redoing your work, fix your problems, stop your marketing, raise your prices so you can pay your staff more, so they care, and also you can spend more time on fixing your problems like this. Now this tape here has to be restarted because it's either contaminated the video heads or, yeah, there's a problem with the player or the tape. But this is when you hire a professional, higher prices. If a guy's charging a ton of money, got amazing reviews, hire that guy or girl. Or if you want me to do them, I can. So this is what's involved with digitizing videotapes with quality output from these old tapes that are dusty. These, my hands are black, constantly filthy, unkept, uncared for videotapes for the last 30 to 40 years. And now they're putting disgusting tapes in players, clogging video heads, particles are coming to pieces. They're wrecking the players. Parts are expensive, repair guys are non-existent. This is why companies are churning out crap, is because they're not fixing their equipment. And you might hear the anger in my voice because today has been a day of problems, but also people calling me up and going, why aren't you charging crappy, shitty rates for video transfers like these guys right here? Why do you charge more? Because it takes time, expertise, all this bullshit to get these damn tapes to go and play nicely with the players. Redoing tapes, I've redone a tape seven times today. It's three hours and 27 minutes long, hour and 37 minutes into it. Goes to crap, I have to stop it, clean the video heads, cue it back up. I had like 18 different files that I had to edit together of all the good, look at this. Now, prime example. You need eyeballs, okay? So, is the tape done? Is it been recorded over? Because a lot of people have had their tapes recorded over by these crappy companies. Instead of hit play, they hit record. They record over their footage. Now, this isn't a redo job from any of these companies. This is the first go around for this customer. Again, hiring a professional that is looking at this stuff. So first telltale sign. What are you thinking? Let's check the audio. Audio's there. So that means either the tape is jacked or the player is contaminated. You need to clean the video heads. Let's try it in another player. Shall we? This is Boomerang Kids, Brian, Kindergarten, Graduation. Okay. So let's take a deep breath. Let's put it in another player. See if this works. There we go. Boom. Okay. So, 
this tells you something. This is from 1991, 2023 right now. We're looking at 32 years old. So sometimes when you rewind these tapes in the players, that's why I don't typically rewind them in the players. I have rewinders, old machines that I rewind them in. So all the bits and crap aren't clogging the video heads, wearing out these machines, which are priceless. And yeah, so here we go. Now, I would say that the majority of companies out there, especially if you're paying cheap prices and not checking, they just go, hey, your picture's gone. They don't think because they've got minimum wage staff, untrained, unskilled, uncaring. They need to collect a paycheck. That's all they're there for. Fair play. That's what you get for 15 to 20 bucks an hour. Okay. But then they're paying nowhere near that. So anyway, this is what happens. They're told just to move on, put a sticker on it, tell the customer the tape is crap and that's it. Shit out of luck. But if I hit play right now, let me get the tape number. This is another thing, organization of tape numbers. Everything has to be dialed in. This doesn't have a tape number. Let me get back over and do this here. So this was tape five, tape number five. See, here is again, look, I just caught something. Did you catch that? Look at that at the top. It's in and out of tracking. It'll happen again, maybe. I'm just kind of tapping the tracking. Tiny little bit of alignment there. Oh, and the tape just ended. Or did it end? See, that's another thing. Did the tape, nope, it's back. So some companies, they'll go, oh, done. No, there's more footage that comes up. And also the tracking needs to be adjusted here. See, look, it's jumping at the bottom a little bit. That's unacceptable. You gotta find that happy medium. There we go. All right, moving on. Getting back over to here, tape number five. I can hear something rewinding right now. It's done. I'm going to stop the rewind because I don't want it to wear out the players. Let's pop this in. This is tape five. All right. Here we go. Boom. 1991. February 17th, 1991. Perfect. Audio's loud and clear. There we go. That is why you need to be hiring somebody with amazing reviews, a YouTube channel that is passionate about this stuff, that is checking the blind spots. You know when we drive, we've got blind spots, make an indicated move, there's a car right there. Oh! Same thing with this business. You need to check things. Is it rewound all the way? Like it didn't sound like it rewound. Um, what's going on with this one here? 35. This was another problem. <sighs> da, 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 da. So. Zero. Has it been rewound? Or did it rewind? Because i got a player over there. These VHS tapes. Tip it. <sighs> 20% of them will not rewind. The, the mechanisms are all gunked up, jammed up, and they need to be taken apart, spliced onto a larger VHS C tape. Uh, the worst case scenario. Counter's not running, meaning 35. Here we go. Hit play. Okay, that one was good. That one. Okay, that one's good. So. Um, there was another issue over here. Um, what was going on with this one here? I was rewinding this. Zero. Okay, that one's rewinding now. This one was making a hell of a noise rewinding. I had to stop it. Give it a quick. Yeah, oh, look. Typically, why well, I don't use these players, these rewinders, listen to that. Turn up that volume, that is the sound of... Oh, this one as well. This is why you never ever rewind tapes in your actual players, if you can help it. Um, this one's done, the counter stop reading. Stop it. Trim off. You, any company is going to trim off the blank. I see with all these companies, they've got 10 minutes of footage and four and a half hours of blue screen. Like what in the world is going on? So you cut it and then you trim it. And then once it's rendered, you've got the file. And again, for all you haters out there, you trolls, 
Elgato for consumer level 480 by uh, 640 by 480 manageable file size that fit on a flash drive this is it yes i can do 4k ai blah, 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 blah. price goes up 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 and i only reserve that for contract work through corporations video production studios government stuff that is a whole nother ball game but for people that are just being cheap and going oh i don't want to pay that like this is great and i tell you what you could be using all the equipment all the software in the world but if your players aren't clean and optimal quality everything coming from the video heads you could be doing everything 4k ai technology obx studio all the settings bells whistles but you've got a filthy player it's it's pointless so anyway um that's that so number six i'm going to drag this over to the folder for the customer but what you do is you then review the file everything's good everything's clean audio's good boom passes the fill check okay drag it into the folder there we go it's going to upload and it's also going to upload onto the server and then upload it to dropbox as well here's another one that's done is it done it's black screen you don't know because it could be the lens cap on this is again the blind spot side of things that i have to deal with is it the operator the camera operator is that audio coming through did they leave the lens cap on no there's no audio i'm going to stop the capture trim it to the end now if there's credits yeah look you can see the credit right at the end there uh, anyway there was a credit for the production this is like a fancy production they did there it is boom right berkeley productions or whatever his name is bradley there we go right there that tells you that it's done okay so gonna then let that render check that tape then i get the information the chicken scratch well this is actually printed which is nice although they put the sticker halfway over it um but i would take all this information and call the file name what it is i don't see anybody doing that again this is all added value all included in what i offer and if you're hiring a professional this is what they should be doing this one's done here VHSCs are very temperamental. You can see, look, nice, clean picture. Audio's good. Gonna just get it to the last second here and then trim it out. There we go. Save that. There we go. Christmas 98. Blah, 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 blah. All important stuff. This one's done here. Snow, or is it done? Or did the video heads get clogged and now... No, there's no audio coming through. The counter stopped. Okay, that's good. So that's telling me that it's done. And I'm going to scrub back and delete any of this stuff. Nice clean pictures. Okay, cut it there. Let that render. Got more done over here. Anyway, as I say in all my videos again and again, because the message isn't getting through to people because I still get, I don't know, just the problems. It's just the band. Oh, they're really good. Why don't you use the same price as them? Oh, why aren't you the way? Because they're all shit. <laughs> Fucking shit. All right? Because I've had to redo three jobs in the past two days that are just incredible. This one here. I've done a video on this one. Look at this. And there we go. Look, customer sent all these off. Six months later, get everything back. Nothing transferred. They've all got stickers saying cannot be transferred cannot be transferred there's 19 tapes in there 17 of them are absolutely perfectly fine with no messing around all done oops god oh shoot anyway oops <laughs> they're bomb proof kind of anyway doing one-handed work here with the phone speaking of phone speaking of videos if you are looking around for a transfer company, why don't they have videos on YouTube? Why aren't they showing off their facility? Why aren't they showing all the extra due diligence, uh, all the extra things they do to making sure your videos are coming out with clear picture and audio? Don't know. That's a question for other companies, for other people. But anyway, if you are in the Phoenix area, I am by appointment for drop-offs. Don't just show up because I like to know where your stuff has been stored, how it's been stored, what it looks like 
so I can get a price over to you. If you are shipping in, before you do anything, go to gotmemories.com, fill out the quote form as best you can. Let me know a little bit about your media, where it's been stored, because if it's been stored in your garage, in your attic, you live in a humid environment, extremities of hot and cold over the years, get your stuff now, run, don't walk, to grab all your home movies and bring them inside because my hands are filthy, it's gross, it clogs up the equipment, driving me nuts <laughs> for the past few days of people. Yeah, people, um, please take care of your stuff. And, and if you're gonna send your stuff in, just give it a wipe down, because I don't like seeing drywall particles that clog up my video heads and then, uh, so there's all these different areas here of, um, yeah. So if you can just clean up your stuff, that'd be great. Um, anyway, that's me. It's enough of my bitching. I know I have not been doing videos in the past week or so because I've been absolutely slammed all the Thanksgiving Christmas stuff. People call in this, that, and the other, and I've just been so busy and dizzying stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, but um, if you are, if you are hell bent on sending your stuff off to these shit box companies and you don't care, which fair enough, you know, you either throw it in the trash or spend a bit of money, do not send your stuff during the holidays to these companies. My God, they are hiring like mad seasonal workers here locally. Um, iMemories advertising like 14 bucks an hour and they're hiring kids off the street, you know, and they're like, oh, you know what this is? And they're like, no, this is a VHS tape. Oh, cool. I heard about these things. My grandfather used to shoot on that thing. Ugh. Anyway, now that you know what a VHS tape is, here's a VCR. Here's a pile of videotapes. Good luck. And then that's it. That's the training pretty much in a nutshell versus hiring pros that have been doing this forever, myself, over 20 years, um, and just doing knockout work and have, you know, take pride in what I do and fix the problems behind the scenes. If you are shopping around, make sure they've got insane Google reviews, insanely good, not insanely bad, um, and due diligence, you know? Um, if you want it done right, home run, knock it out of the park, me, fill out the quote form. But if you're shopping around for bargain basement prices, do not fill out the quote form. Don't waste your time or mine. I say that with, try not to be arrogant here. <laughs> I'll come across that way. But it is the truth. You don't, if you own a business, if you've got your industry that you're in, you know there are crap people in your industry. And people are going, mm, you're expensive. Yes, because you know what the hell you're doing. So the same thing applies with this. And I tell people, you need to do your homework when you go into, the, you know, your doctor, your dentist, your daycare, your vet, all these people, you don't just willy nilly go, mm. same thing with video transfers and film transfers. Do your homework because you got one copy. No, nobody has copies of that stuff. They send it off blindly. Someone offered them a cheap price, then they're crying about it six months later, because that's how long these companies take, three to six months, and then they keep your money, they don't transfer anything, or if they do, it looks like crap. There may be a few rare occasions where somebody's happy. And also the reviews on their websites are all fake. You got to go to google.com, type in their name of their business, and see the proper Google reviews. Not all of these like embedded crap on websites, trust pilot, blah, blah, no, 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 actual reviews. So that's me, game over. Again, if you would like to get a quote, gotmemories.com. If you're doing this yourself, you're gonna need three to four machines of everything because they're all gonna go to crap and you need to have backups because you go, is it the tape? Is it the player? That's like what you've just seen here with me trying it on different machines. One plays, one doesn't. Now I'm gonna go clean that machine before it goes back into service. All of these, these are new ones. I just cleaned a bunch the other day, back to cleaning them again, because they get clogged. People's crappy videotapes where they store them outside, they get moldy, you gotta clean them. They clog video heads, all that stuff. Anyway, all the best to you, rant over, cheers.